everybody. I'm Mike Wilkes, joined as always by my broadcast colleague, Dr. The Wife. Hello, and Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to you as well. And fans, Happy New Year to y'all. This is New Year, new hybrid experiences, and that is Rilo King making his entrance, going up against the Death Dealer here shortly, Doc, Alexander Crowley. He is sure a lie on the lights. Making sure to show everybody he is the brightest star tonight, but how bright can he remain with Alexander Crowley looming behind him? Oh, that's a very good question, Doc. I mean, it's the age-old question. You like I said, the man who comes alive under the lights versus the man who personifies darkness, Alexander Crowley, a battle as old as time itself. And we'll see exactly who's going to come out on top on this battle. Rilo King, no, he's got a few things he's trying to avenge in his fight coming up here. Oh, sure does, but... Again, we have to make sure we keep our heads on our shoulders because darkness is creeping in right now. I don't know if you can see the the fog coming down on, underneath your feet there. Oh, no. There's only one thing that can mean. We're looking around. It's a little colder in here now. No, yeah, I got goosebumps. Ooh. And who leads the? Oh, that's creepy. We have the Mother of Mayhem leading the way, Lilith. And not far behind. Just like you said, Doc, seeing there the Mother of Mayhem, Lilith. Heralding this man's arrival, Alexander Crowley. I don't know about you, but those loose bumps are hitting everybody hard right now. That might be the chill in the air. It might just be the effect this man has when he makes his entrance. Alexander Crowley to say he is an unnerving presence. I feel like that's putting that not as lightly as we can at the moment. No, that child being just looked down right there. We're going to have a nightmare about that later tonight. Sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, we're going to see if Ryan going to have a nightmare, too. He's staring right in the face of death. Not many people get to do that and live to tell about it. Here comes the mask. Ooh, held up high. And unveiling the fearsome visage of Alexander Crowley. Lilith and Crowley both staring at a man who have to believe that they think is their next target. But Doc, I mean, let's just let's just say, say, say it is what it is here. This is not exactly the first target Crowley's had his eyes on. Absolutely not. He has gone through and... He's basically ripping through the hybrid roster. He's gone through Yoshi Bell. He's gone through Danny Vintage. He's gone through Animal. And even in the socials, you could see his influence is kind of spreading through and intimidating the roster. And he's sending a message to not just the, the folks that he has wrestled already, but the folks who have the experience at hybrid school wrestling. And I think you hit the nail on the head right there, Doc. Alexander Crowley is about sending a message. Alexander, Alexander Crowley, Looks like he's trying to send a very specific message to Rilo King with that kick to the thigh. Well, this is a person who, he is a master at figuring out what body parts he wants to eliminate first. And it's not really eliminated much as, as much as he's chipping away at his opponent. Not only an expert on offense, Doc, we saw him block that kick from Rilo King. Also a depth in watching what his opponent is doing. But Rilo King, credit where it's due, takes him over with a snap and just that stiff kick to the back. Since Crowley over to the corner. Got to think maybe he, maybe he's rethinking his strategy at this point. Rilo King standing triumphant, but well, no, Doc, didn't really get in there to press the advantage. It's a, it's a dangerous game that you're playing when you're up against a person who is seeing you as his prey. I'm telling you, the Church of Crowley is not... For the faint of heart, you have to be able to stare into the, the depths of darkness and come out from that. And gloating about it, being a little bit proud of yourself, you got to keep your head in the game. And that's exactly the name of the game, pun slightly intended. But like the old quote says, Doc, you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. And Alexander Crowley looks like he's coming out on the winning end of this exchange so far, working Rilo King up and taking the young man to the ropes. Rilo King reverses. Yeah, and ooh, that would have been an interesting if contact was made, but Crowley was able to work his way out of it. 
Rilo King hit him with that arm drive. He's going for a scoop slam. Crowley ready for him, though. Trips him up. And the running knee to the side of the head takes out Rilo King. Hard impact. Goes for the cover. And Rilo is still there. He is man, He's managing to shake it off. Lilith casting a spell right now, making sure that Crowley is ready. He's looking around, listening quietly. I wonder if this is him hunting. I'm not even going to try to guess what's going up there in that man's head. Lilith, you saw her trying to keep her man's head in the game. Rilo King Ooh. trying to fight back, lands that elbow, bottoms up a little bit of time, but what's he going to do with it? Rolls oh. through the schoolboy, just a two count. Rilo's back up. He's, ooh, schoolboy oh, schoolboy onto Rilo. Crowley's not able to keep it down, keep him down. Trips Crowley, and just exchanging covers. Crowley with the trip again, going for a cover of his own. Still just a one count, just like you said, Doc. Both these men trading back and forth. Rilo King to the ropes, floats over, sunset flip, another pin, one, two, but another kick out. Crowley, though, right back to it, one, two, flips through, one, two. Well, this is a good opportunity for both of them to find out really how much energy they have. In order for you to figure that out, you're going to have to do a couple of moves to figure out where you stand in the match. Ooh, and a big old, ooh, high kick from Crowley. And the message received and sent back with an insecurity from Rilo. And Rilo King firing back with one kick of his own. Anything you can do, I can do better. Boatman down on the mat. Rilo King looks like he may be stirring first. Still got something to him. Alexander Crowley's out. He is not moving on the canvas. Oh, slowly shifting. showing some signs of life, but the referee's count continues. Doc, oh, can you imagine if this isn't a double count? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be an interesting match, but again, that. It's the name of the game is to be able to keep up and stay in the, in the match. The stamina is going to be a big part of that. Referees count at seven, both men to their knees. Rilo King firing off that forearm first. Oh. Ooh, throws a forearm of his own, Crowley. They look a little winded right now. Well, I would be a little winded too after the exchange these two have had to say nothing of kicks like that and the forearm following up the punishment these two guys are putting their bodies through. It kind of speaks for itself. And they're slowly damaging each other. The head being one of the places you really want to take care of, but they're they're taking care of each other no matter. Ooh, Rilo King jumps up and drop kicks Crowley. Rilo's got him hooked, hits him with a side effect. Is that going to be enough? Rilo King slow and going for the pin. That punishment we were talking about, Doc, is taking his toll, but just a two. Rival King checking with the ref. Ref letting him know it's just a two. Both men. Rock Crowley on the ground. Rival on his side. You gotta keep keep it up. You gotta keep the, the game name of the game is to keep going. And Rilo King looking to do just that. The heart of this young man clearly on display has been taking it to Alexander Crowley throughout this entire matchup. Crowley though. Flurry of fist from Crowley. Blocks Rilo's, ooh! A hard elbow shot with the sweep. Trips up Rilo King in the knee again to the side of the head. That veteran experience from Crowley coming into play goes for the pin. Ooh! And still just a two. Looks Doc, like the frustration on Crowley's face right there. Looks like this may not be going to plan. Not quite, but he looks like a snake ready to bite. Checking with Lilith to see. Checking with the ref to make sure. And Rilo still trying to get himself a little bit of a reprieve. Rilo might be knocked a little loopy. That knee from Crowley would hit the ropes. Just all the velocity behind that, just catching Rilo directly in the side of the head. Uh oh. Oh, taking a big shin right to the chest. Crowley right back on the attack. Those hard, hard kicks directly across the chest oh. of Rilo King, just wearing the young man down, down to the second rope now. But Crowley not done. One more kick sends him right back in the ring. He's just cutting him down like a tree. Crowley comes right back in. Rilo crawling his way, crawling away from Crowley. Crowley hits the ropes. Rilo ready for Ooh. tilt a world slam. Takes down Crowley, but can Rilo King capitalize? See him favoring the back dock. Looks like the damage that was done at the beginning of the match is now catching up with Rilo. And another near fall again. Both of these men refusing to stay down, trading near falls back and forth. Neither one of these two competitors ready to say die. Rilo is frustrated, begging with the ref to, to count again or check his count. But again, the name of the game is to stay in it. And 
Rylo right now is suffering through some of the damage he was inflicted on from Crowley at the beginning of the match. Oh, Ooh. Crowley reverses the suplex attempt into a brain buster of his own. Doc, I got to think, just like you said, that time spent going back and forth with the referee, you're just buying time for your opponent to catch his win. Crowley goes for the cover. Rylo just barely kicking out that before was, the three. That was definitely close. But you see, you see the, the work that Crowley is doing. He's focusing on the upper body. That last move is, is just... Chipping away at the energy of Rilo King, the, the upper back, the head, the most important part of the body. And Rilo's now, I'm guessing the room is spinning for him. You gotta believe if, if, it's, if he is seeing anything at this point, it's spinning around, star, something like that. It's all Lilith there just oh. trying to get Crowley to capitalize on the momentum, but he couldn't do it. Rilo King now, the single leg drop kick takes Alexander Crowley down. Rilo going for the pin. Oh, oh. Oh, that was, that was close. And he, the frustration just continues to get worse for Rilo, but he has, he has to push it aside. He can't beg with the ref. Crowley rolling away. You're giving him too much time, but yet he's still trying. You can see that this, he had a mission in this match, definitely. And got to think it's still heavy on his mind, Doc, but I think, again, you're just making the perfect point here for exactly what Rilo wants to accomplish. He can't be taking time to argue with the referee. As he goes in now, that running back elbow to Alexander Crowley. Alexander Crowley now, now that we're talking about the time that Rilo King was spending. Alexander Crowley still looking a little worse for wear. Perhaps that offense from Rilo King a little earlier was successful in buying the man some time, but Doc looks like both of these men are feeling the effects of this match. Well, we have to think, will the experience went out on this and help him calculate how he needs to use his reserve? or? Well, the, the energy from Rilo. Ooh. Jumping Meteora from Alexander Crowley. Sorry, dog. They decided to pick this back up. Crowley going for the pin. Is he going to make it in time? Crawling across the ring. One, two. Ooh. We're getting close. Slowly but surely. But like, to my point before, Rilo has a mission. He wants to avenge his friends. He said this over the socials. He made this very clear. He's not worried, but... Is that going to be the, the pin in his bubble? Because you have to be a little bit more conscientious of you, who you're going up against and do a little studying. I wonder if he did enough homework. <laughs> the homework, well, the teacher here on my side, of course, wondering about the homework. It's not lost on me, but <laughs> we'll see. If we'll see if we can get the report cards a little bit later. But Rilo King now reversing the Irish whip him. Gets him up into the fireman's carry. All right. Oh. Into the TKO. Will this be all she wrote? Rilo King on the ground, Alexander Crowley on the ground, both trying to figure out who will be up first. Looks like Rilo's crawling his way to Crowley. It, he's calculating something else? Is he uh, analyzing something? He's getting up. He's walking to the corner? I would say stumbling back. I don't know. There's some hesitation on the part of Rilo King. I'm right there with you, Doc. I'm not sure what can be going through the young man's head. That seemed like a perfect time to capitalize and go for the pin following just that absolutely killer TKO. But looks like he wants to inflict some more punishment. But hold on. Crowley ducks the elbow. The ripcord. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Last right. Good night, Rilo King. And that is all that she wrote. Rilo King now seeing double, triple. The room is spinning. And here comes Lilith. Now I'm going to put it out there. While Rilo's laying there, looking at the ceiling, twitching here and there. What must be going through his mind, knowing that he was almost there? Well, I think it depends on your perspective at the moment, Doc. We're talking about right this moment. Rilo King, I can't imagine there's much going through his head. Probably the equivalent of TV static after the last rights by Alexander Crowley. But I, I understand your point. Just, you know, like we said the whole match, Rilo King came on here very much a man on a mission, looking to defend not only the honor of himself, looking to get a measure of revenge for his friends, for the school here, since Alexander Crowley has come back, has been an absolute buzzsaw through the roster. And no sooner do we say that... Ah, respect. There you go, the respect that Rilo King respect. was chasing. Giving to him by Alexander Crowley. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. Doc, not the ending we expected, not the one we were necessarily looking for, but a good one to see nonetheless. You got to give it to Crowley. He, Like you said, he has been ripping through the hybrid roster, but to what end? Who is his target? Who will he go up against next? This is, this is going to definitely be an exciting perspective to see where we go from here.
Absolutely. Lingering questions. Will they be answered? We'll have to wait and find out, fans. And you can find out right along with us. Stay tuned here at the Hybrid School of Wrestling. New year, new hybrid experiences. We're bringing more action to you. Don't go anywhere.